This is Dell XPS 15. Suddenly the customer claimed it showed up the actual uh, bit locker on. Okay. But from his knowledge, he can't remember that he enabled this bit locker options or not. But somehow it showed up and he doesn't have the recovery key. And he's ready to lose the data. Okay. He doesn't mind, but he just want his laptop back to use it. So in this situation, what I found the solution, by the way, in that way, you can't get back your original data in there. So if you are looking for a solution, how to get back your data while the BitLocker recovery password is unknown, this video wouldn't help. You can skip it. But if you're ready to lose your data and if you want to uh, use the laptop by installing new system, then you might can see. Okay. So if you do have BitLocker recovery, um, option enable and but you don't know the password in that way what you have to do you might need to take out the internal ssd or hard drive and format it externally okay what happens is when the bit local recovery option is on even if you try to install the windows when you go to choose the drive what you would like to install the windows is not going to show up is going to show empty or blank there is no any ssd installed sometimes it does shows in that point you need this sort of caddy as you can see one of them m.2 another one m.2 nbme ssd enclosure so you might take out the internal ssd and put it here and then connect it to you know donor laptop or third party laptop and then you need to format it manually and afterwards if you install the windows it would be absolutely fine it's going to show up okay by the way i'm telling you this is not for every single model sometimes you can directly install the windows without any issues even if you do have bit locker okay so to format the drive externally i always prefer to use this professional software which is asus partition manager but this is the paid version it takes about 25 to 30 pound if you feel it's not worth it you may can try the default program which is called uh, partition if you search in windows partition is gonna is gonna show up about the partition and you can just delete the partition from the external ssd and it should be fine okay by the way to sort this out what are you gonna do we're gonna um, create a bootable windows 10 thumb drive because previously it had windows so that's the one uh, windows 10 in uefi this machine doesn't have USB port, so I do have the converter from Type-C to USB. Okay, make sure you created it correctly. If your previous windows in UEFI, then you must have to create this one in UEFI. If you don't know how to create one, you can check the video link would be in the description. All right. So now let's connect it and then we're going to switch off this machine and we're going to switch back on and we'll make sure the charger is connected, okay? Now let's turn it on by pressing the power button. Straight away, we're gonna keep pressing F2 to get into BIOS. By the way, if you do have BitLocker, it doesn't obstruct you to get into the BIOS to change the boot option. So this is entering, allow it a little bit of time. And here you can see, this is the BIOS. Okay, there are a few options. It shows Dell XPS 15 9500. And from here, we can go back to the boot configuration, uh, then the security to enable um, secure boot. And if what does it call the legacy is enabled, then we have to switch it off because we are installing in UEFI environment. Okay, so let's do that. All right, so first we're going to click on security. From here, we need to make sure TPM 2.0 security is on. This one would strengthen your security system from the BIOS. Okay, I don't see any security boot option here. So I'm going to click back on boot configuration, which is the top one. All right, and then from here, I can see uh, there are the old system boot priority. And it shows boot mode UEFI only, which is absolutely brilliant. And boot sequence, I can see the old Windows system still number one. So we have to change it. Okay. So first, let's click on secure boot option to see if that is uh, 
enabled correctly or not I clicked it, it didn't work so sometimes you might need to restart a couple of times to get back to the system sometimes it does play okay so I'm gonna click on B wall and from here I will try to find secure boot and now I can see the secure boot is off so you can click this on I'm gonna click no I don't want to switch off the secure boot so I just left it on as you can see and now from here I'm gonna change it I must have to make my USB which is bootable Windows 10 USB I'm gonna make it the first priority so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna click here first and then I'm gonna try to press the up arrow to take into number one okay so now let's click this one the third one from here which is that one let's click it so once again if you press again on the top arrow it's going to take into number one so everything set up pretty much that's all we don't need to change anything now we're going to click on apply changes and once we click on apply changes the system would restart uh, after exit it and then it's going to boot up from actual usb then we're going to reinstall the system without any issues i believe so let's do that click on boot configuration so click apply changes press ok and now let's exit it once we click on the right button it's going to restart so let's click here and then it's going to turn up from the usb restarting allow it a little bit of time sometimes it depends how fast is your computer how fast your usb and everything in my case it took about two minutes i can see it shows nothing is happening but if you do white you're going to see the reflection but if it doesn't work then you must have to check how you created your usb if that is 100 percent bootable or not either that is in uefi or legacy okay i can see the light is flashing from usb so definitely something is happening in the background let me allow one more minute to check if there is anything happening yeah i can see something is spinning right here which shows it's reading the actual USB. And now I can see the Windows installation setup page. Click on next. Install now. I don't have the product key, so I'm gonna say I don't have it. I will activate it later. Now it shows the Windows I'm gonna install Windows Pro hit next accept the terms and condition and afterward that is the main part okay if you are not able to see the hard drive no problem we can manually take this out and format it now i can see the old hard drive i mean all ssd in there where all the programs and everything and i don't have any important data so i'm going to delete all of them one by one okay by the way if you do have any important data and you are not ready to lose then please don't follow this procedure that will not help you okay so i'm going to delete one by one all of them and then i will reinstall it and we'll see at the end if the installation is successful and that would leave this laptop into master settings like a brand new laptop functionally okay so here is a trick if you do have more than one partition in your laptop and if your data not in C then you don't have to delete the D drive you can manually connect into a different laptop and copy all the necessary files but if you do have in C then unfortunately because of there is bit locker on I don't think so you can recover the data at least I don't know if you do know please leave the ideas 
in the comment section so somebody can get some help. So now it's copying all the file, everything. I'm going to fast forward this video until the end to see if the boot is successful and if the laptop went back to factory settings. All right, so finally I restarted and it seems everything is fine. This is like a brand new Windows system on it, like a brand new laptop. Even there is no data, but you can use your laptop back. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye for now.